Joan of Arc, who was born in Domremy, France, in 1412, emerged as a pivotal figure during the Hundred Years' War, claiming divine guidance and persuading Charles VII to allow her to lead French forces against the English. Despite lacking formal military training, Joan displayed remarkable strategic prowess, devising bold plans that often baffled seasoned commanders. Her charisma and unwavering conviction inspired soldiers to follow her into battle, boosting morale even in the face of daunting odds. Joan played a crucial role in lifting the Siege of Orléans in 1429, earning her the title Maid of Orléans. Despite subsequent victories, she was captured by the Burgundians in 1430 and later handed over to the English. Following a trial for heresy, she was convicted and burned at the stake in 1431, yet her legacy endured. Canonized as a saint in 1920, Joan of Arc remains a timeless symbol of French nationalism and valor. Queen Tamiris, a renowned warrior queen of the ancient Iranian nomadic tribe, the Masajtai, is celebrated for her decisive victory over Cyrus the Great of Persia in the 6th century BC. This pivotal battle, recorded by Herodotus, saw Tamiris employing strategic brilliance to outmaneuver the Persian forces. Rejecting Cyrus's proposal of marriage, Tamiris found herself engaged in war with the Persians. Utilizing a clever feigned retreat tactic, Tamiris lured the Persians into a trap, enabling the Masajtai to launch a devastating counterattack that inflicted heavy losses upon the Persian army. Despite Cyrus's valorous efforts, he was captured alive by the Masajatai, and in a quest for vengeance for her son's death in a prior encounter with Cyrus, Tamiris ordered his execution. This historic triumph of Queen Tamiris over Cyrus the Great not only highlights the resilience of the Masajatai against external threats, but also solidifies Tamiris's legacy as a formidable warrior queen and underscores her exceptional leadership prowess. Maria Bochkareva, born in 1889, gained prominence as a Russian soldier during World War I. She became known for establishing the Women's Battalion of Death, an all-female combat unit, in 1917 amidst the upheaval of the Russian Revolution. Bochkareva's battalion served on the Eastern Front, engaging in battles like the Kerensky Offensive. Despite encountering skepticism and prejudice, Bochkareva's leadership garnered respect from her male counterparts. However, following the Bolsheviks' ascension to power, her unit was disbanded, and she faced persecution due to her anti-Bolshevik stance. Ultimately, Bochkareva was executed by the Bolsheviks in 1920 for her involvement in anti-revolutionary activities. Her legacy as a trailblazing female soldier and her contributions to the war effort remain commemorated.